Good afternoon folks, it's Simon at Vans today in Worcester. I'm here to give you a video walk around of our 2019 on a 69 uh, Volkswagen Crafter. This is the 2 litre TDI 180 brake horsepower model, so it's quite rare being the 180 brake. Um, it is the long wheelbase with the high roof. Um, and obviously it is no longer a standard panel van. Um, now this is a two keeper from new van. We vans today are actually the second owners of this van. It's our own van. It has now covered 106,000 warranted miles. Uh, arrived to us originally as a panel van. We have had it converted into a six seat combi van with various bits of extras fitted to us as well. So the main and most important thing being, it is an aircon model, folks, all right? That is the most important thing. Now, I'll point out to you all the other little bits and pieces we've done to it as we do a video walk around. The main aim of our videos is to give you a walk and all video walk around of the van so you know exactly what it is that you're looking at, so there's no surprises. The vast majority of our customers will actually buy having watched these videos and leave us a deposit and come and collect or leave us a deposit and get the vehicle delivered out to you. So there's a couple of different options that you've got to play with there. Um, now, um, it's been an absolute diamond, this van has, okay? It's taken me down to the Alps and back uh, with the family skiing, six of us in the van, fully loaded. Um, it's been, um, yeah, it's been a mega little workhorse, bless it. Um, now, um, condition-wise, it's pretty damn good, I've got to be honest with you. Um, we will, uh, I'll try and point stuff out to you, but overall it's in pretty good condition, right? Now we normally start up here on the roof, but it's a bit bloody high for me to get all the way up there to show you. Um, but it's all, um, all pretty good, okay? So if we just start off with the roof cone um, on the front of it, that's all looking clean and tidy. Your windscreen is in good overall condition as well. There are no major stone chips or cracks that are going to cause either of us any grief when it comes to MOT time. Coming down onto your bonnet, again, bonnet is in good all-round condition. Uh, no major stone chips, all looking good. Front grills now and front bumper now, all in good order. You will notice it does have the expensive laser lamps fitted in the grills. Uh, including fitting, I think they're about 900 quid, including fitting eight or 900 quid, I forget now to be honest with you, but it gives you an idea, they're bloody expensive. But they are absolutely amazing bits of kit in the dark at night. <coughs> um, we also had the van fully kitted out for the business, so you've got LED flashers on the front side and rear of the vans. I'll point them out to you as we go around, but as you can see, LED flashers. Uh, this van also has front and rear park assist, okay? That's factory park assist fitted to it as well. Now, passenger side headlamp unit, that's all good. Passenger side front bumper corner, you've got a side LED here. Uh, obviously, front parking sensors as well. Uh, no major scuffs, nothing like that, it's all looking good. Looking down the side profile of the van, there are no major dents or dings to point out to you. Pretty straight and tidy. I would suggest it's possibly had paint on the rear quarter at some stage in its career, um, but uh, it's not, um, yeah, yeah, you may or may not notice it. Um, but looking down the side profile of it, she's looking pretty neat and tidy, isn't she? Round to the driver's side, driver's side headlamp, that's all good. And then your driver's side front bumper corner. Again, we've got a side LED warning light on it and um, we've got obviously another front parking sensor there, but no major scuffs, nothing like that. Looking down the side profile of the vehicle from this angle, again, no major dents or dings to point out to you. There's a couple of minor scuffs on the black plastic protective strips down the side of it. I'll point them out as and when we get to them. Driver's side front wing is in good order as well. Driver's side steel wheel. Now we replaced all of the steel wheels. Um, so they are brand new uh, satin black steel wheels and then all four of them are Michelin Aguilas cross climate tires with massive amounts of tread depth on them, as you can see. So those tires are best part, what are they? About 250, 300 quid each nowadays, each. Yes, each folks. So um, yeah, expensive tires, but um, yeah, as I say, they're cross climate. So they are a winter tire, so to speak, that you can use all year round. Uh, if you're heading up into the Alps or whatever, then they've got the snowflake on them. So the old gendarmerie let you up the hills. Mirror unit, as you can see, all present correct. Integrated indicators, all good. 
driver's side mirror glass, uh, sorry, driver's side door glass is all in good condition. Driver's side door lock is all good. We have a very minor little ding here and a minor little mark there. Rest of the door, all looking good. If we get down low, check out the lower sills. You can see those are all in good condition with no damage to them. And then, as I said, on your Allsex protective strip, we have a scratch on the protective strip there. On that one there they're not particularly noticeable but they are there so we'll point them out to you mid quarter that's all looking good as i say we had the mid glazing fitted to it so that's a tinted mid glaze fitted to it we have a minor little stone chip here which we'll touch in for you and then driver's side rear quarter again all pretty good we have a minor little ding in the arch here hasn't broken the paint we have obviously another brand new uh, satin black steel wheel with michelin aquilis tire cross climate tire again loads of tire tread depth as you can see um, your side repeaters or sorry side ref, um, your side lights uh, marker lights that's the ones are all present and correct and in good condition if we look down the side profile of the van from this angle, there's a few things to note. So you can see a nice reflection in the paintwork, which shows you that it's had a little bit of love and care to the paintwork in its time, still nice and shiny. Your rear warning light is here. We have rear light unit in good order. We have another side warning light here. And then your bumper corners, as you can see, in good condition as well. And then the rear of the vehicle so it's 50 50 split on the rear barn doors we've had a pair of work lights fitted up there um, so those are mega if you're putting a trailer on the back it's in the winter it lights everything up if you're reversing in somewhere with these things the reverse lights are shocking so it really does just light everything up for you so you can see where you're going in reverse have a look at your alignment of your doors you can see those are in good condition now we did have additional locks for vans security locks fitted on the side doors and the rear doors and as you can see here they are the um this van has the option of the factory rear step integrated into the rear bumper with reverse parking sensors included in that as well and then the tow bar has only been on it since we've owned it um so it's a tow bar with single electrics it's probably towed about twice so it's not really done much in the way of hard work from that point of view. Um, looking down the passenger side profile of the vehicle, again, take note of the nice reflection in the paintwork. Again, nothing too much to point out to you. Your rear light unit's in good order, rear bumper corner reflectors. Oh, we've got a slight crack in that reflector there, to be fair, so don't mind getting that replaced for you. And then round to the passenger side rear quarter, your upper quarter here. That's all in good order and your driver's side rear quarter on this side again that's in good order as well uh, again we had another satin black steel wheel brand new with Michelin cross climate tire we also fitted factory front and rear mud flaps to this vehicle as well all these things add up trust me <laughs> these things it's been that's a pretty penny a uh, side loading door as you can see again glazed tinted glaze fitted to it again a locks for van security lock fitted to it getting down low check out your sills those are in good condition there's a couple of minor touch-ins just from uh, getting in and out of the vehicle on your sill there but we can get those sorted out for you that door handles all looking good your black protective strip going down the side of the vehicle is in good order no marks on this one passenger side front door again that's all looking good door glasses looking good mirror unit upper and lower mirrors are good and then your driver oh I'm sorry your passenger side front wing that's all looking good passenger side front steel wheel again another Michelin Michelin tyre um, and I think we recently had um, new brake discs and pads fitted to this uh, I think we've also recently had uh, cam belt, water pump, tensioners, 
full service, including oil, oil filter, air filter, fuel filter, pollen filter, uh, front discs and pads. So it's, it's had a fair bit of spent on it whilst in our ownership. And then inside the vehicle, as you can see, so it's still ply lined in the back. We've, I mean, obviously this vehicle does lend itself to being converted, let's face it. Um, we've kept it fairly utilitarian inside. Um, so we've got a couple of enduro bikes and stuff, so we can put those in it. Um, luggage nets, I don't really, if you, if you want them, you can have them. If you don't want them, you, you know, we'll take them out. We've just fitted coat hangers and stuff if we're, you know, carrying loads of ski jackets, motorbike jackets, stuff like that. It's just handy to have all of this stuff in there to, to put stuff onto. Your flooring, factory flooring is, um, it's done a job, but it's plenty of life left in it. All your tie down points are present and correct. Now we had a third party fit of the rear seats. So there is a certificate for all of that. They're actually Transit Torneo rear seats because they have integrated seat belts. Should you wish, you can actually remove all three of those seats and still run it as a van. Um, or you can just individually take these seats out, fold them down. Obviously you've got cup holders on them and stuff. So these were brand new items when they were fitted. They have Isofix, I think, on the rear too. And then your front seats there, obviously it did have a bulkhead in it. We've taken that bulkhead out. The front seats, the middle seat will fold down, so you've got your cup holders there. Um, but um, as you can see, everything is pretty neat and tidy. As I say, a bit utilitarian in the back. Oh yeah, we dynamited um, or silent coated the uh, mid section of this vehicle. Might even have been the rear section of it. Might well have done the rear arches as well. I think we may have covered those back up. So Dynamat obviously is just a sound deadening material, just makes it um, quieter for you when you're using it. Side loading door on the passenger side. Obviously that slides back and holds into place nicely. We have your door shuts all clean and tidy. Entry seals and plastics in overall good condition as well. Just giving you another viewpoint of the back of the van from this angle. But the beauty of this is obviously you can put it to work straight away. Um, carrying six blokes around with it. If you want to use it to convert it over a period of time, you've got six seats in there as well. We have drive uh, passenger side door card in clean, tidy condition. Entry seals and plastics on this side in overall good condition. There is your diesel fuel filler and your ad glue filler. Inside we have a set of genuine rubber mats fitted to it. Big old glove box, book pack, dashboard fascias all looking neat and tidy. Loads of storage on the top of the dash, cup holders. And then your seats, we have passenger seat trim is in good overall condition. You do have additional storage underneath the seats as well. And uh, we'll show you under the bonnet. So underneath the bonnet, again, try and give you an overview whilst I'm holding the bonnet up. You can see it's nice and clean and tidy. Uh, what we've got going on there, brake fluid, air box, windscreen wash, oil filler, dipstick, uh, coolant, correct colour coolant for Volkswagen, no contamination in it. You can see the fuel filter there still looking like new as well. Um, but it's all looking neat and tidy. Your bonnet bolt and your wing bolt are original paintwork on there as well. And then passenger side door, door card again, clean and tidy. Entry seals and plastics on this side are nice and tidy. We have Genuine mats on this side as well. Pedal rubbers are all good. Now, every crafter with a bit of age gets this um, wear on the seat panel here. We'll get that, uh, we'll have a new uh, bit welded into them, not welded into it, sewn into that for you. Uh, so um, yeah, that won't be an issue when you buy it. Central locking, uh, electric heated mirrors, electric windows. We do have manual lights with rear uh, fog light. Dashboard, uh, sorry, headlamp levelers, cup holders up here as well. All of your vents are all good. We have USB power over here, more cup holders. 
Um, now, the, it's got App Connect on here as well. So if you've got Apple CarPlay, Android Auto and all of that, um, happy days, it all comes up on here. You've got DAB, FM, AM, Bluetooth, telephone, Bluetooth, music, central locking for the back of the vehicle, stop start technology. It has got the all important air conditioning folks. Parking sensors front and rear, electronic stability program, six speed manual rear, uh, gearbox with reverse gear to the left and forward. And then looking in between the seats, you can see it's clean and tidy. You've got a nice multi-function steering wheel, which gives you cruise control as well. The steering wheel is in overall good condition with not too much excessive wear or tear. Uh, and that's about it, I'm afraid. Uh, as I say, 106,345 miles. There we go, folks. Um, now, oh, uh, work light and beacons are up here. We've got a dash cam fitted to it. Um, so, yeah, there's also a, um, yeah, yeah, so there we go. Um, anyway, there's 50 to 60 photos of this van on our website. Our website is vanstoday.com. We are Vans Today Worcester, based in the centre of the country, offering you nationwide delivery, part exchange for finance. Feel free to give us a call 01905 672 080 or email us at sales at vanstoday.com. Um, now, it's a really nicely kitted out van. It's got everything on it. I'm not in a massive rush to get rid of it, to be honest with you. If it sells, it sells. If it doesn't, it doesn't. This thing goes like the clappers. I bought a new uh, Man TGE Combi four-wheel drive last year with the 180 engine in it. And it just felt slow whereas this thing goes like the absolute clappers um and that's it folks um thanks for looking at the video if i'm of any further help feel free to get in touch um if you're worried about who you're buying off check out our reputation online we have reviews google facebook linkedin instagram and if you want to be kept up to date with all of our latest vans then like and subscribe folks like and subscribe cheers